Good evening friends. Today we will discuss stator earth fault protection in a synchronous generator. Let's start with this figure. This is the stator winding of a synchronous generator. You can see it is star connected. This is R phase, Y phase and B phase. All the three phases are making a star point here which is called as neutral point. And from this neutral you can see the neutral is grounded by the help of a transformer which is called neutral grounding transformer. Across the secondary side of the NGT a load register is connected which is called neutral grounding resistor NGR. During normal condition there is no current flowing in, flowing in this primary winding of the transformer and also in the secondary winding the neutral current is zero. Whenever any part of the stator winding it is getting earth, a current is seen in this path, the neutral path, a current is flowing. Now, this transformer, you can see it is connected to NGR, so when current will flow through the primary winding, a current is seen in the secondary winding. Now, due to the current and the resistor present, a voltage drop it will be created here across the resistor. Now this voltage drop it is fed into the earth fault relay. So in the earth fault relay there is a setting of voltage. If the voltage drop exceeds that setting then the relay will operate on earth fault. Also the relay can take one more input from the generator PT the open delta voltage input. It uh, can act as an extra condition for the relay. If you are setting our NGR level at a very low value, so we can take one extra condition as open delta voltage. So let me explain the concept of open delta voltage. You can see this is R phase, Y phase and B phase. All the three phases they are getting added because the head is connected to tail, head is connected to tail and finally the head and tail. This is giving us the summation of B, Y and R, all the three phases it is giving us. So the summation it is fed into the relay. So during normal condition the open delta voltage is zero. Why? Because R, Y and B, the three voltages they are equal in magnitude and 120 degree uh, angular separation is there. So there is no open delta voltage. But when there is some earth fault open delta voltage is seen here due to unbalance between R, Y and B. So we can uh, put one extra condition in the relay from the open delta side of the PT. Okay. Now this scheme, uh, this scheme has certain limitation. What is that limitation? Let me explain. Suppose a fault occurs very close to the neutral of the winding. So due to the low voltage available here at the neutral, the magnitude of the fault current will be also less. The voltage is distributed in such a manner that the voltage is highest at this point and lowest at this point. So if fault occurs at this point, the driving force for the voltage, it is very less. So the fault current through the neutral will be very less. So the voltage drop which will appear across NGR, it will be very less. So it may happen that the voltage drop across the NGR is less than the internal setting of the relay. So the relay may not operate. So this is the biggest limitation of the 95% earth fault relay that it cannot protect the 5% part of the winding which is close to the neutral. So it protects only the 95% of winding means from terminal up to this 95% of winding it protects. So we have to give one more extra scheme for protecting the entire 100% winding. Uh, the scheme is also known as voltage injection principle. So let me explain the scheme briefly to you. In the voltage injection principle we are having a voltage injector. This voltage injector injects low frequency signal into the NGR low frequency AC voltage to the NGR. Now the low frequency voltage it is passed to the NGT primary and from here it is passed to the stator winding. Now 
there is a huge capacitance present between stator winding and earth so if low frequency is injected between it the capacitive reactance will be very high because frequency is low so xc is equal to 1 by 2 pi hc so capacitive reactance between the winding and earth the insulation acts as a capacitance and the capacitive reactance is high but when earth fault occurs the capacitive reactance it starts reducing due to the insertion of resistance in the insulation a resistive current will start to flow now this resistive current it is sensed by this city this is the 100% earth fault relay so it is taking two inputs one is the ct input which is present at the secondary side of ngt this is i and it is v it is taking from the voltage divider circuit and this voltage divider circuit is present in the voltage injector from ngr the voltage is fed into the voltage injector circuit and from voltage injector uh, circuit the voltage it is coming to the relay so the relay is getting v and i from here and it will calculate resistance by dividing this v and i v upon i is equal to resistance let's look at here the principle the principle of 100% v by i is equal to calculated resistance now during normal condition this i is zero so the ct current is zero so the v upon i it is infinite now what will happen when there is earth fault here we are getting a i so here i will come so the resistance calculated resistance it will start uh, decreasing now the voltage is not a constant here because if you are getting less voltage so the resistance is becoming less now the tripping condition is that the setting resistance should be higher than the calculated resistance so if your voltage is less the calculated resistance will uh, become lesser so it's not an issue definitely the relay is going to operate due to this condition the calculated resistance should be less than the setting resistance so this is the second scheme which is called as 100% earth fault scheme so the basic difference is that the 95% scheme it uh, follows the over voltage principle it's uh, it measures the fundamental zero sequence voltage from the ngr and if the voltage is more than the setting value the relay will operate and the 100% relay it sends v and i from here and if the measured resistance is more or less than the set resistance then the relay will operate hope you are clear with the stator earth fault protection after this presentation thank you